Hello there, Mr. Green here. The objective of this video is to understand the structure of the construction and built environment industry. So can I outline and explain the different areas of so a quick reminder, the worksheet for this topic is available on Google Classroom. So if you haven't been on there to download it or get a copy, then please do so because you will need it to complete this task. Another reminder, you're going to need your pen, you're going to need your knowledge nuggets and your six W's sheet. So get your tools together, get a pen or a pencil, your knowledge nuggets and your six W's questioning sheet. So when you have your tools and you have your new and embedding knowledge worksheet, you are ready to begin. So your first job, using your knowledge nuggets, you need to copy the terms for building, civil engineering, building services engineering and infrastructure. So on your knowledge nuggets, Find page two and just copy across the terms for building, civil engineering, building services engineering and infrastructure. Now, as you do that, I'll be giving you some additional information. We'll be looking at some images. And at the end of that, we will then be moving on to the apply section. So copy them across. And as you do so, I'll give you some further information and keep pausing this video as we go so that you're comfortable. So the first term is building and the term building actually has two meanings in this context. The first meaning of building is a structure with walls and a roof such as a house or school. So here I've given you an image of the London skyline and as you can see, it's not actually as straightforward as just four walls and a roof. Architects design amazing buildings for all sorts of different purposes. And here you can see there is a huge range from the buildings in the foreground to the buildings at the back. So term number one, building a structure with walls and a roof, such as a house or school. But please don't think that they're all just basic boxes. There's a pointy glass roof there as an example, as an alternative. And I think that building's made out of gold. Maybe you can look into that one for me. So the second term for building, the action of constructing a structure using tools and materials. So here we've got a picture, we've got some drawings at the bottom there, but the, the main focus is that building the action of constructing a structure using tools and materials. We've got a roofer, we've got a ground worker, we've got a builder, all sorts. Scaffold over there. So the two terms for building, number one, a structure with walls and a roof, such as a house or a school or an office. And the action of constructing a structure using tools and materials. That's building. Next, infrastructure. Now on your sheet, it's actually the fourth one down. But it's important that you understand what infrastructure is before we then go on to talk about civil engineering. So infrastructure, the basic physical structures required for a society to operate, such as bridges, roads, power supply, utilities such as water, drainage, etc. So infrastructure, imagine your life without infrastructure. Imagine your life without roads, airports, utilities, energy, etc. Imagine your life without school, for example. So infrastructure, the basic physical structures required for a society to operate, such as those that you see in the picture in front of you. And then we have civil engineer. So civil engineering are the people who design, install and maintain the infrastructures. And here we have pictures of some designers and planners. Here we have some engineers working on a tunnel. And here we have some of the maintenance work that you may see going along uh, at the side of the road. 
So these are civil engineers and these are the people that design, install and maintain the all important infrastructures that we all rely on. And finally in this section is building services engineering. So this again is designing, installing and maintaining but this time building services. So these are the services that make buildings safe, convenient and comfortable. For example, air conditioning, heating, lifts. So if you think of a block of flats or if you think of a West Quay shopping centre, what systems are in place to make those buildings safe, convenient and comfortable? So it could be fire escapes, it could be lifts, escalators, air conditioning, all sorts of different things. So that's building services engineering. So by now you should have completed the learn section. And with that knowledge, we're now going to go on to the apply section. And the sheet that you have in front of you should look a little bit like we have here. So the first question straight off of the when asking questions 6w sheet is a what question so what types of infrastructure have you used today next why are infrastructures so important to society have a bit of a think thinking's hard sometimes Give yourself some time to have a think. Where can you often see civil engineers at work? Do you ever see any civil engineers? Think of what civil engineers do from the question before. And have a think if you've ever seen any. Next, when would building services engineers be required? Then we've got how do civil engineers ensure that structures they build will withstand heavy use and the elements? So the elements are the weather, basically. Wind, sun, rain, extreme cold, extreme hot. And then our final question in this apply section, who, so which type of engineer would be required to complete the work below? So which type of engineer would be involved in the installation of air conditioning system in a shopping centre. So is it a building services engineer or is that a civil engineer? Which type of engineer would design a new roundabout? And which type of engineer would be involved in the maintenance of an electricity pylon? Remember to keep pausing the video so you have time to complete each part and just have a think, first of all, at completing that apply section. Pause the video now and have a go. So here are some possible answers. I think I've said before, it's really important that you have a go at this. Do not worry about getting things right or wrong. What matters is that you have a go and you send your answers to me so I can then give you some feedback. So these are the answers that I've come up with and yours may be similar. So number one, what forms of infrastructure do you use on a typical day? And an answer could be on a typical day I use electricity or gas to cook dinner, telecoms for my phone, water to brush my teeth and the roads when travelling by car or bus. My school is also an example of infrastructure. If we didn't have schools, where would people be educated? Number two, why are infrastructures so important to society? And I've written, infrastructures are important because they allow society to operate. Where infrastructures are strong, the development of an area is much improved. For example, a city with effective public transport links would allow people to travel for work and leisure quickly, easily and with a low environmental impact. So hopefully you can see from that answer that infrastructures are very very important to us then we have where can you often see civil engineers at work 
and I've written the answer as you can often see civil engineers working on road maintenance or land surveying. But as I've said before, send me your answers so I can give you feedback because that's not the only places that you'll see them. 2.4. When would building services engineers be required? The example I've given is building services engineers would be required during the design, installation and maintenance phases of a shopping centre build. This is because systems such as air conditioning, heating, lighting, fire escapes, lifts and escalators are required. Next, how do civil engineers ensure that the structures they build will withstand heavy use and the elements? And I've written the answer, civil engineers ensure that the structures they build will withstand heavy use and the elements by using a combination of materials and techniques that have been designed to last. For example, I should have put that in red, but for example, a concrete and steel bridge is strong enough to carry the load of traffic, but the steel must be treated so it does not rust, and the concrete must be reinforced so it does not crack. So if you look up the answers, you'll see that I have written in red, for example, for example, because such as, and I've used for example again down here, really, really useful to make good, solid answers that you explain using, for example, such as because. And a final question in this apply section, who, so which type of engineer would be required to complete the work below? So installation of an air conditioning system in a shopping centre, I've got building services engineer. Design of a new roundabout, I've got civil engineer. And maintenance of an electricity pylon, I've got civil engineer. So that's it. We've now completed the apply section and hopefully you're ready to move on to embed. So. The embed section, this is all about you looking at the picture and having a go at making your own questions and then answering them. So here we've got a huge concrete bridge spanning a very large area. And I'd like you to have a look at that. Have a look at the questions that you could ask. The what, why, when, how questions. And think of some questions for that image. Once you've done that, have a go at answering them. And as always, email me your work. So some of the questions that I come up with, just as a starter to help you, what could be the purpose of this new bridge? How will they construct the bridge so that the concrete does not crack? And why are the cranes painted bright yellow? So they're just some of my questions. You don't have to use those. I prefer if you didn't use those, they were just to start you off. So have a go, write some questions, have a go at answering them. So there we go. Hopefully you've had a go at completing the worksheet. We've done the learning, we've applied the learning, and at the end you've had an attempt at embedding that learning. We'll cover all this again at a later date, but this will give you a very good grounding on which to develop your knowledge further. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.